As I say, Fiona Moclair, I'm in our corporate environmental health and safety organisation. Uh, a little over 21 years in the company now. Um, I suppose my day-to-day -day role or my core function is that I'm an environmental health and safety advisor within our advocacy team. So a lot of my team members we break, uh, will be based in the likes of uh, Munich and also here in uh, Brussels. Well, I think really where nanomaterials are from an industrial perspective is that they're still seen as a very novel material. Um, so I would have to say the first step we would have to take would be literally identifying who would be those EHS professionals that we effectively would have to basically get them trained in nanomaterials. Because, you know, we, we know at this point that you just cannot uh, do a direct transfer in terms of the ability to do a chemical EHS risk assessment at a bulk level and just directly transfer that to nanomaterials. So there's, there's a learning that would need to be there in place for those folks. I'd have to say, and I suppose I'm not unique in saying this, that it should be there from day one. Now, in practical terms, that's not going to happen. But if I look at my own company, we would have folks that would be involved in basically new materials in components research. And, you know, after that, then you'd have technology development, technology transfer, and then high volume manufacturing. So the, you know, the earlier up you can go in that chain, the better. So I would say my step one would be basically components research.